Business Valuation and Corporate Restructuring Chapter 1 Introduction to Business Valuation Introduction Valuation methods and approaches vary depending on the nature of the business, its industry, and the purpose of the valuation. Common valuation approaches include the income approach, market approach, and asset-based approach. These approaches rely on different methodologies, such as discounted cash flow, DCF analysis, comparable company analysis, CCA precedent transaction analysis, PTA, and asset-based methods like the adjusted net asset value, NAV, method or the capitalization of earnings method. Business valuation requires careful analysis, thorough research, and the application of sound financial principles. It often involves the use of financial models, valuation techniques, and professional judgment to arrive at a reasonable estimate of the company's value. Valuation professionals, such as certified appraisers, financial analysts, and investment bankers, typically conduct valuations using established methodologies and best practices. The results of a business valuation can have significant implications for stakeholders. For example, in mergers and acquisitions, the valuation determines the purchase price and the allocation of consideration between buyers and sellers. In investment analysis, it helps investors assess the attractiveness of an investment opportunity and make informed decisions about allocating capital. In financial reporting, Valuation impacts the recognition and measurement of assets, liabilities, and equity on the company's balance sheet. Overall, business valuation is a complex and multifaceted process that plays a crucial role in financial decision-making and corporate strategy. It provides stakeholders with valuable insights into the value of a business entity, enabling them to make informed decisions mitigate risks and maximize value creation. Meaning of Business Valuation A business valuation, also known as a company valuation, is the process of determining the economic value of a business. During the valuation process, all areas of a business are analyzed to determine its worth and the worth of its departments or units. A company valuation can be used to determine the fair value of a business for a variety of reasons, including sale value, establishing partner ownership, taxation, and even divorce proceedings. Owners will often turn to professional business evaluators for an objective estimate of the value of the business. Importance of Business Valuation 1. Decision Making 2. Investment Analysis 3. Mergers and Acquisitions, M&A 4. Financial Reporting 5. Strategic Planning 6. Taxation Purposes 7. Litigation and Dispute Resolution 8. Capital Raising 9. Employee Compensation 10. Risk Management Explanation 1. Decision Making Business valuation provides insights into the worth of a company, aiding stakeholders in making informed decisions regarding investments, mergers, acquisitions, divestitures, or expansion strategies. To join study 2. Investment Analysis Investors use business valuation to assess the potential returns and risks associated with investing in a company. It helps them determine whether a company is undervalued or overvalued relative to its intrinsic worth. 3. Mergers and Acquisitions M&A valuation is essential in M&A transactions to determine a fair price for the target company. It ensures that both parties negotiate from an informed position and helps in structuring deals effectively. 4. Financial Reporting Valuation plays a crucial role in financial reporting, 
especially for privately held companies or in instances of intangible assets. It helps in complying with accounting standards and regulations such as the generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, or the International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS. 5. Strategic Planning Business valuation assists in strategic planning by providing insights into areas of strength and weakness within the company. It helps in identifying opportunities for growth in areas that require improvement. 6. Taxation Purposes Valuation is necessary for tax planning, particularly for estate planning, gift taxation, or determining the value of shares for employee stock ownership plans, ESOPs. 7. Litigation and Dispute Resolution Valuation is often required in legal proceedings such as shareholder disputes, divorce settlements, or insurance claims to determine the fair value of assets or businesses involved. 8. Capital Raising Valuation helps in raising capital by providing a basis for negotiations with potential investors or lenders. It assists in determining the equity stake to be offered in exchange for funding. 9. Employee Compensation Valuation is crucial for determining the value of employee stock options or equity-based compensation plans, ensuring fair and competitive remuneration packages. 10. Risk Management Understanding the value of a business enables stakeholders to assess and mitigate risks associated with their investments, thereby enhancing overall risk management strategies. To join study group Principles of Valuation 1. Fair Market Value 2. Principle of Substitution 3. Principle of Anticipation 4. Principle of Supply and Demand 5. Principle of Risk and Return 6. Principle of Time Value of Money 7. Principle of Diversification 8. Principle of Market Efficiency 9. Principle of Reasonableness 10. Principle of Independence Explanation 1. Fair Market Value Valuation should aim to determine the fair market value of a business or asset, which is the price at which it would change hands between a willing buyer and a willing seller, both having reasonable knowledge of the relevant facts and neither being under compulsion to buy or sell. 2. Principle of Substitution this principle states that a rational buyer would not pay more for an asset than the cost of acquiring a similar substitute with comparable utility, performance, and risk. 3. Principle of Anticipation Valuation considers the future earning capacity and potential of the business or asset. Investors typically value assets based on their expected future benefits, such as cash flows or earnings. 4. Principle of Supply and Demand Valuation takes into account the dynamics of supply and demand in the market. Factors such as scarcity, competition, and market trends influence the value of assets. 5. Principle of Risk and Return Investors expect higher returns for bearing higher levels of risk. Valuation should reflect the risk associated with an investment, considering factors such as volatility, economic conditions, and industry-specific risks. 6. Principle of Time Value of Money This principle acknowledges that a dollar received today is worth more than a dollar received in the future due to the opportunity cost of capital. Valuation methods often incorporate discounting future cash flows to present value. 7. Principle of Diversification Investors value assets based on their contribution to a diversified portfolio. Assets with low correlation to existing investments or those offering diversification benefits may be valued more highly.
8. Principle of Market Efficiency In efficient markets, asset prices reflect all available information. Valuation should consider market efficiency in the extent to which prices accurately reflect fundamental values. 9. Principle of Reasonableness Valuation should be conducted using reasonable and justifiable assumptions, methodologies, and data inputs. The process should be transparent, objective, and free from bias. 10. Principle of Independence Valuation should be conducted by independent and qualified professionals who have no conflicts of interest and can provide unbiased assessments of value. Different Valuation of Approaches 1. Asset-Based Approach 2. Income Approach 3. Market Approach 4. Cost Approach 5. Option Pricing Models Explanation 1. Asset-Based Approach Book Value Method this approach values the business based on its recorded assets and liabilities on the balance sheet. It typically involves adjusting the book value of assets to fair market value. Adjusted net asset method adjusts the value of the company's assets and liabilities to reflect their fair market values. Intangible assets and liabilities are also considered in this approach. Two. Income Approach Discounted Cash Flow DCF, projects future cash flows of the business and discounts them back to their present value using a discount rate. It is based on the principle that the value of a business is the present value of its expected future cash flows. Capitalization of Earnings Method calculates the value of a business by capitalizing its expected earnings over a certain period at an appropriate capitalization rate. Economic value added, EVA, measures the true economic profit of a business by deducting the cost of capital from the net operating profit after taxes. 3. Market approach. Comparable company analysis, CCA, compares the business to similar publicly traded companies in terms of size, industry, growth prospects, and financial metrics such as earnings multiples, P-E ratio, E-V, EBITDA. Comparable transaction analysis, CTA, compares the business to similar transactions, mergers, acquisitions, divestitures, that have occurred recently in the market. It helps determine what buyers are willing to pay for similar businesses. Guideline Public Company Method, GPCM, similar to CCA, but focuses specifically on publicly traded companies as benchmarks for valuation. 4. Cost Approach Replacement Cost Method determines the value of the business by estimating the cost to replace its assets with similar assets at their current market prices. Reproduction cost method estimates the value of the business by determining the cost to reproduce its assets at their original or historical cost. 5. Option pricing models Real options valuation applies option pricing techniques to value the flexibility or strategic options embedded in a business or investment project. black Scholes model, originally developed to value financial options, it can also be adapted to value real options in business decision making. Each valuation approach has its strengths and limitations, and the choice of method depends on factors such as the nature of the business, available data, market conditions, and the purpose of the valuation. Often, a combination of approaches may be used to triangulate a more accurate valuation estimate. Roles of financial statements in valuation 1. Basis for analysis 2. Assessment of financial health 3. Projection of future performance 4. 
Calculation of valuation metrics. 5. Identification of risk factors. 6. Comparison with peers. 7. Disclosure of intangible assets. 8. Validation of assumptions. Explanation. To join study group WhatsApp. 1. Basis for analysis. Financial statements, including the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement, provide a comprehensive view of a company's financial performance and position over a specific period. They serve as the primary source of data for valuation analysts to assess the company's historical financial performance. 2. Assessment of financial health. Financial statements help analysts evaluate a company's financial health by examining key financial ratios and metrics. For example, liquidity ratios, such as the current ratio and quick ratio, provide insights into the company's ability to meet its short-term obligations, while profitability ratios, such as return on equity and profit margins, indicate its ability to generate profits. 3. Projection of future performance. Analysts use historical financial data from statements to forecast future financial performance, which is crucial for valuation purposes. By analyzing trends, growth rates, and industry benchmarks, analysts can make informed assumptions about the company's future revenue, expenses, and cash flows. 4. Calculation of valuation metrics. Financial statements serve as the basis for calculating various valuation metrics and multiples, such as price to earnings, P-E, ratio, price to book, P-B, ratio, and enterprise value to EBITDA, EV, EBITDA, multiple. These metrics provide insights into how the market values the company relative to its earnings, book value, or cash flow. 5. Identification of risk factors. Financial statements help identify potential risk factors that may impact the company's valuation. For example, high levels of debt, declining profitability, or irregular cash flow patterns may raise concerns about the company's financial stability and future prospects, influencing its valuation. 6. Comparison with peers. Financial statements allow analysts to compare the company's financial performance and valuation metrics with those of its industry peers. This comparative analysis helps assess the company's competitive position, relative strengths and weaknesses, and valuation multiples in the context of its industry. 7. Disclosure of intangible assets. Financial statements may disclose information about intangible assets such as intellectual property, brand value, and goodwill, which can significantly impact the company's valuation. Analysts evaluate the significance and value of these intangible assets when estimating the company's overall worth. To 8. Validation of assumptions. Financial statements help validate the assumptions and inputs used in the valuation models. Analysts reconcile their projections with the company's historical performance and financial position to ensure the reasonableness and reliability of their valuation estimates. Overall, financial statements play a fundamental role in the valuation process by providing essential data and insights that inform analysts' assessments of a company's worth and future prospects.